Here's a short explanation of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's start with the basics. The game from Paul Lamon Games is for two to four players ages six and up. The average game time is about 25 minutes with the objective of the game to be the first player to get all of their dinosaurs around the board and into their home. So what's in the box? There's the board, three dice, two white and one black, one Tyrannosaurus, and four sets of each color dinosaurs. To set up, players choose which color they wish to be, then place their dinosaurs at the start. The Tyrannosaurus is placed in his den. Each player rolls the three dice to see who gets the highest number. Whoever gets the highest number goes first, followed clockwise around the board. On a player's turn, they roll the three dice. First, they look at the black die. This is the number that the Tyrannosaurus is going to move. The player must move the Tyrannosaurus that many spaces along the orange trail. The Tyrannosaurus can travel in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. So a player might choose to move the Tyrannosaurus away from his own pieces or move it closer to one of their opponents. Once the Tyrannosaurus is moved, the player now looks at the white dice. The player has a choice. They can choose to move one dinosaur, the total number of the white dice, or two dinosaurs, one of each of the dice. Once the player has moved their dinosaur or dinosaurs, that is the end of their turn and the next player begins following the same pattern. When traveling around the board, players will encounter forks in the road. They can choose either path they wish to take in order to get around. The only exception to this is the blue path. This is the riverbed. In order to take the riverbed, a player must have rolled a six on that turn in order to take this path. The riverbed is a safe spot, as the Tyrannosaurus cannot go in the riverbed, plus no other dinosaur can attack you while you are in the riverbed. If a player moves their dinosaur to where another dinosaur is already at, it means they are going to fight. The player who moves to the spot is the attacker, and the player who is already on the spot is the defender. The attacker rolls three dice, and the defender rolls two. Whoever has the higher count is the winner. In case of a tie, the win goes to the defender. Whichever dinosaur loses the fight goes to the beginning of the riverbed. If the Tyrannosaurus catches one of the dinosaurs, that dinosaur is moved to the T-Rex den. The dinosaur stays there until the player who has that piece rolls a six on one of their white dice during their turn. If they choose, they can then move the dinosaur out of the den and back to the start, or they can choose to leave the dinosaur there and move a different piece six spaces. Play continues until one player gets all four of their dinosaurs into the home area. In order to enter the home area, a player must roll the exact number to land on a space. If they do not roll a number which allows them to move, that is the end of their turn. You can also play a junior version of the game where the Tyrannosaurus only moves clockwise and players do not attack each other. Which group of dinosaurs will cross the finish line first? Let's find out now that you know the basics. Let's play.